but he father, could have wife, shared it. Brother. He loves the power that knowing secrets gives him. Even if he turns around and says, oh, I can't tell you. He loves the kind of, I know, and I know that you want to know. It's his only currency in there, because as he said himself, he's not really doing very well on the personality state. So I get really a bit narky when they say Kate's um, a commoner. There's nothing common about it. Gary's gossip is hilarious. He delivers it like an extra from Bridgerton. Um, when he's not talking about Kate, and uh, he reveals more then, but he, he kind of does this thing, like little fingers fluttering over his lips, like I really... I mean, he, he would have been a dowager duchess with a fan years ago. Um, but it shows some interesting things about Gary and also the people that he's talking about. He's very intimate when he was confiding in Ekin Sue, but you could see that he was loving being asked, so no real rituals of embarrassment when she asked the, the killer question. Yeah. What's, where's Kate? Um, so because she doesn't want to talk about it... We can't talk about it. He must have known that question was going to come up. He must have known that the whole country is interested, although we are leaving her alone. Um, and he did that to stall for time. Then we get um, the second signal that we got from him was very interesting. He used a lot of eye contact. There was no, there was no sense of, um, oh, I feel really uncomfortable now. I don't really think that I can tell you. He raised his eyebrows up and used eye contact. And what that told me was that he was loving it. He loves the power that knowing secrets gives him. Even if he turns around and says, oh, I can't tell you. He loves the kind of, I know, and I know that you want to know. It's his only currency in there, because as he said himself, he's not really doing very well on the personality stakes. So this is his currency, and he really milks it. So when he was asked about Kate, the, the raise of the eyebrows, the widening, it, it, he was more than happy to be asked that question. Then, though, we got um, a micro gesture that could have been associated with some feeling of guilt. And I really hope that, you know, because it's not nice what he's doing in there. We got a, a heavy swallow, and that often can be when people get a bit of an a, a adrenaline buzz. Oh, you know, something inside Gary's head might actually be saying, you know, mate, you shouldn't be spilling tea on your nearest and dearest, etc. Where's Kate? Um. Then we got his message, um, she'll be back. Now, that came with a, a one-shoulder shrug. I would say that the good news from his body language seemed to be it was quite reassuring. There didn't, there didn't seem to be any sort of, you know, oh, we're all you know, really scared behind the scenes or anything like that. That, that one-shoulder shrug did kind of diminish the problem I think, in my mind. Um, and then he's got the cap, hasn't he? You know, and the other thing when he does the gossip, he wears this cap that uh, covers his eyes. And again, we can still see his eyes because I think what he doesn't realise about Big Brother, those cameras are everywhere and they're brilliant. So we still get a view of his eyes. Um, but it's almost as though he's trying to keep it on a one to, uh, disingenuous, you know. Oh, it's just you and me, you know, just you and me, I can see, having this conversation. But he will know that everybody else is is watching. Um, the thing that annoyed me about Ekin Sue, and I need to teach her about how to do interviews with somebody when you want to get all the answer, do not finish the question for them. She asked a wonderfully direct question, but when he began to do the answer, she answered for him at the end. And I would like Ekin Sue to just, it was brilliant, throw that question out there, throw the big questions out there, and then shut up and let him dig mixed things about Kate and I don't want to make a comment but whatever it is you want her to come back or, or she, is one work in yeah. but she's, she's, she's amazing uh -uh. she'll be back of course she will good I love the way that he's in such contrast to Sharon when Sharon delivers gossip she just sits back arms folded and lets it all come out she gets both barrels going why did you accept the offer to come into the house um it does bother me about what public perception of me is. I think with Gary, when we're looking at his body language, he's kind of got to affect 
contrasting and even counterintuitive states because he's pretending that his gossip is coming from a position, a place of love. You know, Sharon just lets you know, she do not like these people, she's going to talk about them. But with Gary, he's trying to do it as though, well, I'm only doing this because I really love my family, you know, while I'm sitting here spilling spilling tea about them, which is, which is not a good look. He's just the oddball out from everybody that's in here. I think rule number one of this show, and particularly if anybody's new to the show, Particularly with this one, though, don't believe anything that you're seeing in there at the moment in terms of people's presenting personalities. The first episode was all about first impressions. And boy, are they giving some misleading first impressions and most of them hugely counterintuitive. So, um, for instance, you know, we're getting Louis went in wide eyes like a little aging boy band and innocent and oh I don't know what I'm doing in here and then wham we got that glimpse didn't we out 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 suddenly we got that glimpse of the inner Louis what actually lurks behind this 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 innocent I don't know what's going on Sharon's doing all the work she's so uh, and Sharon as well and I found her fascinating um when she was dealing with Gary she did when 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 she sort of speaks about Gary, it, it, it's kind of um, that that way that people do where I didn't really want to, and I, it, it's what people do when they want to be seen as still quite nice, but actually uh, giving reasons that are not genuine. I think with Sharon, um, she's incredibly cute. She's also, in, I mean, as in smart um, and cute probably, um, but she's also, family loyalty is very high on her list of qualities that she uh, feels very strongly about. I think she's got the measure of Gary. Why don't I believe you when you say that? I don't. Honestly, 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 I don't crave all that. I think you're insecure. I'm insecure in this situation. I think that she probably would not like the guy because he's wanting to only really go in there and gossip about the royals. She loves the royals. Um, and I think she's absolutely got that. She's not maybe giving us those reasons yet, but I, for me, that's what's laying behind a lot of um, that beginning of the scoreboard. And Gary, uh, oh, yeah, taking it under the chin, you know, about being... Um, up possibly potentially up for nomination and it was Sharon that chose him but again he needs to stay in there to be Gary you know Gary's gone in there to prove and I laughed out loud when I heard this that he's not the black sheep of the royal family he's not the royal family <laughs> what, what do you want about Gary you know you're not you're that far away from the royal family um so I I think it's we're talking about particularly with Sharon quality reality star the original reality star somebody that will totally be herself, totally speak her mind, versus somebody that she is probably feeling that she wants to unpick a little bit as well. And I noticed that a couple of times when he came up with his gossip, she listened, but she didn't even turn around to look at him. So I it, I don't think she wants to hear that kind of thing. But you've got an amazing trio there with uh, Gary and Louis and Sharon, I never thought I'd say that in my entire life, those three together. But um, Gary's, I think there's something stronger down there that he's not showing at the moment. And anybody like Gary, and I have to say um, David as well, when they have to tell us that they're actually really good fun and actually really a nice person, I think that's hilarious because that means that they're not, but they've just found out that actually... They might not be. And Gary kind of did this apology, didn't he? Oh, you know, everybody's big characters in here. And I, I think he realises he's got earn his money in there, not just from um, gossip, but also being fun as well.